Here's part two on my tube amp project. I've been working on it most of the day and uh, made quite a bit of progress. I actually got some wiring done and all the components that are connected to the 6L6s are installed except for the coupling caps. And I've got all the heater wires hooked up and some other stuff. I've been using a highlighter and going through the schematic showing what's been installed so far so I don't lose track when I gotta go to bed for the night or whatever. But uh, it actually hasn't been too bad. I'm just a little too tired to keep going, especially I don't want to work on the power supply considering there's about 450 volts. You know, I, I don't want to miswire that, so I think I'll leave the power supply for tomorrow. And uh, I got my fuse holder and everything hooked up. Just got to tighten down the power switch and run wires to that. These tall posts here are going to be where some wire holders go so I can suspend cables. And like over here, there's going to be a wire clamp that's going to hold a bundle of shielded audio cables that go from the input selector back to the RCA jacks. And uh, there's standoffs, you know, I'm going to be putting on a lot of the tube socket screws to hold terminal strips like this. So I have my junction points and uh, won't have to drill any more holes in the chassis that way. And I can't really flip it over and show the top side, but I do have all the transformers installed. I don't have the cover on the power transformer yet, but uh, also got four of the five control knobs installed. I'm looking forward to continuing this tomorrow and seeing how far I can get. Maybe I'll even be able to put power to this before the weekend's over, at least in the power amp circuit, and put a signal through that. The preamp has quite a few components. I might not be able to finish that this weekend.